everyone is Sharonda from Pay or Wait, and today I'm going to be reviewing Snowfall Season 4, Episode 2, Wait, y'all. Now y'all know, no, that was, nothing good was going to come out of this whole little plan that Franklin had for Man Boy and Scully. And you see, I mean, first of all, when the episode started, I was just like, something don't feel right. You know how you feel like something in your spirit is just not sitting well with you? Just like Scully was saying that he was feeling the bad vibes. And then started talking about roaches. That's a whole nother story. It was just like something that's sitting right in my spirit about this whole thing. Man, boy, dude, all jumpy and stuff. I'm like, boy, do you got to use the bathroom? Like, what is, what is happening right now? So we see that uh, Sully, you know, he getting crunked to his music. What is the stuff that he puts in his ear? It's some type of ear thing that he has because he's like, I need to hear clearly. I need to, I need to be in tune with everything. But I was just really confused when he walks in, he just like, I feel some bad vibes. Like, look at the roaches, the roaches. I said, sir, what, what roaches? What, what, what is happening right now, Scully? I mean, you do, your vibes were right. You were technically in tune because you were feeling the vibes. But I was just like, the roaches, I'm just really confused by this even his friends his like dude's like what are you talking about dude like what is happening right now so essentially things got heated you know man boy dude just jumped out start shooting everybody shooting Franklin and fell out because he could barely stand up anyway and so they end up running away and the shootout happens and so we see that you know, Louis is worried. She's sitting there like she was drink waiting on everybody to come back. Franklin and him come through first. Peaches got hit. Jerome's okay. I was like, Lord, Jerome have been through enough in season three. Just let him be okay for this. Like, if, if it was one time you like, okay, I'm gonna let him sit this one out for repercussions. Let this be the one for Jerome. So um, no one knows what's happened to Scully. When I tell y'all Franklin was shook this entire episode, shook, shook. Like you could tell he was, I don't know if he was shaking, just given everything he's been through. But I was like, Franklin, see what happened when you don't mind your business? This is a clear example of what happens when not minding your business goes wrong. So we see that he ends up going to talk to his parents like, hey, you know, they sitting up here like, this is raggedy dude. He's sitting up here and woke us up while this mess. I told you to sit your behind down. I told you this. And so, of course, his pride for mama child, his pride for daddy too. I said, you know what? Y'all know how y'all get frustrated because he doesn't take you. Franklin don't be taking y'all advice. It's because they, he get it from you. Y'all are way too prideful. Take your behind and enjoy this free vacation. I get it. Frankly, we wouldn't have had to leave our house if you would have just stayed your raggedy behind at home and watched The Last Dragon. But still, y'all, just, just go to the hotel. Damn, just take the free vacation. I don't be understanding what be happening with this. So, of course, Jerome was like, let me guess. They said no. Exactly. So, Franklin ends up going to uh, stay, the place, stay the night at T's place. Um, and essentially, he ends up warning Le Leon when he wakes up the next morning about the shooting, what's happening. Even Leon was like, I told you to mind your business. I told you not to get involved with this. But what did you do? You always the smartest person in the room, Franklin. And this is going to lead to your downfall one day. So um, we see they end up meeting up with man boy trying to figure out, hey, like, because Jerome was like, he hit him. He shot him. But I don't know if he's dead. So man, boy, he all like, I'm good. We cool. I didn't kill him. All is good in the world. And I was like, now y'all know Scully is not dead. It's going to take a couple of, but it's going to take a, a kill shot to get somebody like Scully. And then he just might then even after that survive. Okay. So we see that um, Franklin ends up asking T, you know, hey, can you get a little bit more information? You were cool with people in Inglewood. I just need to know for sure. And of course she confirms that Scully isn't dead. He mad as hell. And like, so y'all, so y'all didn't have nobody like just try to understand bullets are flying. You trying to save your life, but somebody needed to be the person to go make sure that he's actually dead before y'all left. I was just really confused about this plan in the first place. What was actually supposed to happen? And so we see the Scully crazy behind. He's sitting up here performing surgery on himself. And I felt like they gave him a butter knife and I was really confused by this. And as he's trying to take it out and then the dude was like, hey, you good? Sir. This man has been shot in his arm, okay? His, his vibes is already messed up. His in, in tune with the world is messed up. You didn't see all this blood gush out. You see him screaming, trying to get this bullet out with a butter knife. And you gonna sit up there with your ragged behind and ask him, is he okay? He should have pissed with me after all of that. Because I would have been like, don't ask me no stupid questions like that. But look, Scully's mad. He didn't tell everybody. 
Get Franklin, I'm going to stone him to death. I said, what is with all of this between Leon always bringing up the Lord into this drug mess and this scully doing? I was like, yo, I don't think the Lord would want y'all to do this. I'm just, I'm just going to go out on the limb and just say, I don't think the Lord will be okay with this. So we see that, um, you know, something's happening with Leon. So remember they got into it in the first episode and now Leon's trying to find his connect. They're running out of product. They only got two keys left. Um, essentially, he's trying to figure out who his new supplier is going to be. Young boy sitting up there like, hey, my cousin knows somebody's some Mexican. And I was just like, y'all, y'all know this ain't no dang on good idea. But I was dying laughing when they like popped up and they made, uh, they made little man go up there by himself. And I'm like, so y'all just going to make him go by himself? Y'all this scared. You getting bucket crunk with Franklin and stuff talking about I do my own thing and y'all too scared to even go up there I was just like what is happening but the way that they ran for their lives ran for their lives okay I thought the car was gonna break down at first but I was just like y'all should be ashamed Leon after all it is you need to just go apologize to Franklin you're not about that life you're just not about that life it's okay you have to understand your strengths and weaknesses but I was just really con concerned that you were talking all this smack last last episode and now you scared to even go try to be the connect y'all send a little boy to go do go do y'all work I was just really confused by all of that but what I'm also confused about this reporter lady so the reporter lady who I'm never gonna learn her name because after this week I'm like she definitely about to get killed in the next couple episodes so she essentially goes looking to Franklin's family um she's especially focused on his dad figured out like his dad got a last name to them and how Franklin got all these corporations, how the mom used to be broke, defaulted on a mortgage, about to lose her house, and now she owns this real estate business for millions. It's just like, sis, why are we doing this? Like, what are you trying to do? Like, why? And you got the young man roped into it. He probably gonna get killed too, sitting up here trying to watch these people and figure out what the heck is happening. And then she so boldly shows up to Alton's shelter Asking him questions how about I knew the Black Panthers. Ma'am, if you don't sit your behind down, like this this is just too much at this point. Talking about she wanna write a piece on a shelter, help them get more exposure. But she did come through because she ends up seeing a raggedy police officer who was highly upset because, you know, Franklin decides that he's, you know, after he's making this uh, weekly payment, he's like, hey, maybe I can get him to get the Inglewood officers to bust them. They get a good bust that makes them look good and then they get them off of my neck in the first place but when them officers took him up there and they said sir let me show you why this was a dumb idea for y'all for you even coming to us about this do you see all these people all right do you see these people up here they gonna kill us do you see them people over there they gonna kill over there they gonna kill us and they sir don't you ever come over here talking this crazy mess so he's feeling all embarrassed gonna show up there like he's super crunk and he comes there acting super crunk like you tell your son he gonna double his payments. Don't ever make me look like a fool. I said, sir, who? I said, sir, wow. So we sitting up here getting crunk? You getting crunk in the shelter? You gonna come talk to me, talk about maybe he hood is better from you. Or maybe are you scared to say it to Franklin because he gonna slap the taste out of your mouth for trying to come at him raggedy like that. I was just really confused by all of this. But the good thing is the reporter jumps in and she saves the day. He leaves. And then Alton kind of agrees to let her do a piece in order to help get the cops off of his back as well. So I guess it was a win-win. I guess the reporter lady, even though she's going to be dead before the season over, I guess it was a good idea. Did you also peek with the reporter lady talking, telling the uh, young man that she got research and all this stuff, talking about, oh yeah, like a boss knows about it. Ma'am, you're lying. And I don't understand why you're doing the most. I understand you say you grew up in the community, you love the community, you want it to be better. I just feel like this is another instance of just minding your business. I don't understand what's happening with all of this. So we see that Franklin is now trying to figure out what is he going to do. His dad tells him what the officer said. That's a no-go at this point. Scully's looking for him. He's He makes a decision. They're not going to supply them with any more product, try to start them out. They got more security coming from Oakland, but it's going to take a day before that could happen. And I'm just sitting here confused because I'm like, frankly, I don't think you got a day. I'm pretty positive they don't find you before the 24 hours is up for your security gets here. But his mom comes up with, I mean, I think it's a decent idea. Hey, I just made a large contribution for the mayor's office. 
even though he cricket, maybe we need to fight this a different way. Because obviously, Franklin, what you've been doing this entire time, trying to be Captain save a ho or save the gangs or save the drug game, I don't know. It hasn't been working, boo-boo. So I, you know, she makes this contribution, which I think is a smart idea. You get a po dirty politician in your back, in your, um, back pocket, it might work out, but I'm not necessarily sure. But Franklin has definitely found himself in a mess that I don't know if he's going to find himself, find his way out of, you know, without losing some people on both sides before this comes to an end. But remember I told y'all that Felicia wasn't playing with them. Well, I love seeing Gustavo um, at the beginning of the kid's birthday party as a wrestler. I thought it was super cute. We see that when he goes to pay his friend <clears throat> after him and Reed try to come up with a plan on you know, what they're going to do. I mean, basically the police chief was like 100K and I said 100K? Uh, like the, the old person getting 5K to 100K? I mean, dang, I know, pay me, pay me my worth. But Jesus, like 5K to 100K, sir? Are we being serious about this? So I guess he meant business. He comes in at the end of the episode. He They didn't kill the homeboy, killed his wife, then used their blood to write $100,000 in like on the floor as if just killing his friends wasn't message enough. I feel it was a bit excessive, but hey, to each his own. But then I was like, where the kids at? So I don't know what happened to the kids. Gustavo running around the house looking for the kids. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know this person means business. So I like this episode. I don't know, there was so much more happening this episode, but there was more setup that we needed in the first episode. I don't know what's gonna happen with this like drug war. Franklin has definitely dug himself into a crazy hole. And I think Leon just needs to give it up and just go ahead and apologize and get back with Franklin. Cause obviously you're not about this life like you say you are. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm interested to see what angle the reporter lady is going in, what's gonna happen. I mean, we obviously know the lady's gonna end up dead, but I'm interested to see how all of these, you know, Franklin's being hit at all these different fronts and a lot of them that he doesn't even know about yet but i'm really interested in the whole thing with reed and gustavo because they don't they they not playing with them so i'm really excited for where we are in episode two and i'm more excited to see how scully is going to get his retaliation because scully is not playing he is upset he is angry rightfully so and he told franklin don't play me because i will come for you and everyone that you love so I'm just really confused about this, but I'm excited to see how Franklin's gonna dig himself out of this hole, how, you know, <clears throat> what's gonna happen with him and Scully, but I really wanna see what's gonna happen with Gustavo and Reed. But for me, I, I really enjoyed this episode. This was definitely more action paces, a lot happening. Um, but yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts on Snowfall season four, episode two, wait. As always, my name is Sharonda from Payroll Waits, and if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit the notification bell, and I love you guys 3,000, and until I see you again, bye.